going on guys uh, today I wanted to show you guys what I got going on here I got a hard apple cider going um, I had a buddy of mine Port Chan he had a video where he made hard apple cider it gave me an idea to go ahead and uh, make some hard apple cider his didn't come out so good he actually he put up a tasting video uh, according to his taste he said it wasn't so good it was too sour and uh, he almost threw up or something like that so if you guys want to check that video out I'll put that in the description but pretty much here I got a, a one gallon glass carboy with an airlock on it filled with uh, pretty much that's all orange juice added a little bit of sugar to it um, and uh, and a little bit of honey too so I added a little bit of honey to it and I used the uh, an apple cider yeast I forgot which one it was called but I'll show you a picture of it right now this is what it looks like so yeah, I used this yeast right here, and then um, and pretty much uh, added some acid blend to it, some a uh, little bit of wine tannin, a uh, handful of uh, a yeast energizer. Um, I think I tried the K1 for the first time out of California uh, a yeast energizer, um, and uh, a little bit of pectic enzyme. And I think I told you about the wine tannin. So I pretty much put a little bit in there to get this thing going, and I don't know if you guys can see. And it's kind of hard to see through there, but it's it's going, going, going. So I did this about a day ago, almost two days ago now, but yeah, about a day ago. So so again, I'm gonna let this one go. I'll probably let it go for about two weeks. I'll siphon it into another one gallon glass jug. Let it sit for another two weeks, and then siphon it again into another back, probably into this one, and then go ahead and uh, bottle it up and uh, let it sit for a couple months hopefully the flavors will come together on this one I don't like sour so hopefully I left a lot of space in there I could I, this one I'm, I'm planning on I might have to back sweeten it because I didn't put too much sugar and uh, on the hydrometer when I tested it it was coming up over it was it was over 10% so I mean it's gonna be a uh, hard apple cider usually is like you know seven or eight nine percent I don't know ten percent is gonna be kind of strong but um, yeah, whatever. We'll try it out. And uh, this one, I will. I am gonna have one bottle. And I'm gonna carbonate it. I think I'm just gonna use the carbonation drops because I'm gonna. I plan on putting potassium sorbate in here because I plan to add a little bit of more sugar to it at the end, and I don't want it to ferment. So I'm gonna add some potassium sorbate after I add the uh, sodium metabisulfite to kill all the yeast and stuff. That way, it'll be a little bit sweet. Because if you know me by now, I, I really like the sweet stuff. So. I got that going on, and uh, you gotta check out my other video. I got uh, apple mead. I mean, uh, yeah, a little bit of apple in there, but you know, apple juice. I didn't do any fruits. Next time, I might do some mead with fruits, but check out my other video on that. And uh, I'll get back to you guys on this hard apple cider and this uh, mead, and uh, you guys can um, watch me taste it. Hopefully, it comes out good. All right, guys, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Brew Guy 89.